let's create a cylinder with holes in it. Let's start the geo and grid. Let's make it size 1 and 1 and 3 and 3 rows and columns. Let's select the middle vertex and bevel it. And output group, fillet group and put down delete and delete it. So now we have a hole. Can make, change the size of it. Now let's duplicate it. Let's duplicate it in X, Z. Let's make it one because our grid is one. Make it ten copies. And now let's bend it. Press B to change the capture axis. That's right. Like that. Let's bend it more to the center of the world and make it negative 360. Like that. And let's fuse. But before that, we should center. With that, we can use point, wrangle, expression, attribute expression. I always get them confused. And with that, we just want to point with position. Let's just choose their presets and use subtract center of first input. That is going to automatically put the bounding box of this, our new geometry at the center at 0, 0, 0 which, we, which is exactly what we need now we've used it and let's duplicate again let's make 10 copies let's make it 1 again like that actually let's fuse it after I screwed that one up like that you shouldn't use, you shouldn't have to change the values of the fuse because it's minimal and everything should be exactly points on point. So the fuse like that. Right now it's not very round, so let's change the subdivisions. And we want to subdivide it before we bend it because if we subdivide it when it's bent, geometry is not going to look good so light after copy put subdivide let's make it two and now let's take a look like that and let's take a look if we can we can change the whole sizes but now let's make it a little bit more interesting let's go back to the copy and while in the viewport let's press enter and let's make it not in the in the same rows so the shape and it will be a little bit more interesting like that so that they alternate positions but for it to be procedural and less of a hassle when we want to change the geometry we have to know this amount and with that we need to use a little bit of math so let's do this let's go to first copy and press copy parameter of this total number of copies that we made because right now if we want to change the amount of holes in a one row geometry is gonna go crazy because it's not set up to be procedural so let's press copy parameter and paste it inside the rotate but first we want to clean it and then paste relative reference like that if you press alt and q you can see that it's 10 and if you go back and change it like to 13 it's 13 in here so it works let's change it back to 10 for now let's go back and let's 
this 10 we have to divide 360 with this 10 because we use 360 degrees to make this sphere this circle this two and then we have to delete and uh, divide it by two again because you want half of the whole uh, in uh, I don't know of the whole like like that we don't want to we don't want to make like this hole to the this position back we want to stop it halfway there that's why we divide it there like that now if used it like that now we can extrude it select 10 and then we can press extrude so that's what we don't have to write like that and we also want to bevel the these with that we can just press bevel make sure that group is clear because we want to do it on all of them press on distance but right now it bevels everything to fix that plus exclusions ignore flat edges press on that and make it around 50 on 40 50 and you can see it selects only the ones where angle is around 50 you can see if we make it more it selects again all of them and if more then it selects none of them so find the sweet spot like that and now we have the beveled edges like that and let's try this again so we have the holes in the right positions but we want to be able to change procedurally amount of holes in one column for that we have to copy again this amount of holes we have right here so let's copy parameter the strip amount the strips in one strip how many holes there is copy that and you want to paste it in bend in bend note there's the option capture length we actually can take a look what this it does so if we change it like that it basically changes amount of bend is being applied to the whole geometry and we want to it to also change when we change amount of strips we have strips length so we just take this and paste it relative reference like that let's check check it out so select the last note and let's try changing number of total number of holes in one column and it works perfectly like that you can change it as little as three then also you can make smaller or bigger holes like that or small bigger and then we have to number of copies increase like that and it looks pretty nice also let's make also this inside and after you are done you can wrap this around in digital asset to save it for later so I wanted to show one more thing that is how can we deform this tube to follow the path so that it isn't just straight line we can do it with path deform which is part of the labs effects side effects labs that's free toolkit for all Houdin users just write down path deform it requires geometry in a first and a curve so let's put down path curve right one curve like that and let's make it somewhere like that not too drastic of it turns let's make it a norm put it in here 
let's take a look how does it look as you can see it follows it's great detail for like sci-fi weapons or like cables like that and we can make it with a more of a copy so it follows more to the let's make it 50 so that it follows curve all the way and of course we can change the curve press enter and make it longer or even change direction of it like that make it an easy now let's take a look let's make it uh, maybe 70 you can see the tube follows and because it's not too drastic of a turns the holes look good they are not distorted and you want to keep it that way because when it's like a 90 degree turn on a curve it's gonna look really distorted and wrong and also we can make a sweep and merge let's merge it in here for the fun and when to sweep the same curve we used in here and use the second input as a round tube and make it radius bigger and you can see we have like a cool cable like that looks pretty awesome like that so that's it for now and I'm gonna make more videos I feel like it's fun to make them and if you like it leave a like subscribe because more is coming and take care